Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to take a look at some potential swing trade opportunities as we're heading into this June, July end of financial year period where intraday trading tends to taper off for the speckies and small caps. The liquidity tapers off, the number of catalysts tend to taper off as well. So we're going to take a look at some swing trading opportunities. And here's one that we took uh, much earlier, you know, last couple of months, we've been dabbling with APX. And just really, really simple technicals where it breaks out to the upside. I mentioned this on, on Twitter or X and uh, Discord quite a number of times as this was developing. I thought it was really clean taking profits uh, as it sort of hits this initial area and then this, this secondary price target. And big, big pullback, you know, when there's big volumes of selling, you know, we want a really big retracement. You don't want to don't want to pull back to this kind of pivot or anything like that. You can see it briefly held, but with the high volume of selling, it's no surprise that it dips further. And wasn't really expecting this, this support level to hold, but as it was developing and started making a higher high here, uh, it was showing signs of life here, and then we bought as it broke out at 67, I believe it was. So it started making higher highs, and it started trending towards this key profit target level and that was the end of uh, our last trade for Appen. We're kind of looking maybe to come back to this 55.5 level. Um, it'll have a nice tight stop loss, if, especially if it comes to 54.5. I'll consider a tight stop of maybe two cents with a really good risk to reward. You know, 55.5 uh, back to 87, you're looking at 30 cents reward roughly. And you're looking at just maybe let's say three cents of risk maybe two and a half cents of risk so very good risk to reward uh, i would probably look at this as a low win loss ratio I'd probably looking at this the likelihood of this breaking down to be quite high i'd estimate somewhere around 65 maybe two-thirds of the time it breaks down so even though the odds of this being successful is low the risk to reward is very high so i would uh I, I would be keeping an eye on this in the future. Next one we're going to look at is a Vulcan. But before we look at that, we should look at the lithium ETF and how it's performing at the moment. Globally, it's looking a little bit better. It's forming a higher low. We'll sort of come back to this level here at 46.55. And, you know, we've come off a long way, a very long way um, for lithium. It, it's tanked, you know, the lithium spot price, uh, whether it's, it's carbonate or spodumene, has just been absolutely just tanked. So we're going to take a look at Vulcan. Uh, we can see, you know, these stocks have just gotten absolutely mauled. And what we're seeing is a recovery uh, because one would estimate that this was, you know, overbought. And now we're heading into what some would consider as oversold. And we're just, the price is just correcting, maybe reverting back to this sort of $5.60 sort of area, maybe $5. Who knows? No one really does. So what we're going to do is just trade the trade. So the idea is to for this stock to bottom out and it's traded in a range, broke out, hit a key level at this pivot point. And surprisingly, it actually broke down through the support level. Um, obviously high volume selling, but uh, didn't expect it to come off. Sort of bounced in the middle of nowhere, which is fine, retested and bottomed out. And once it started curling up again here, once this stock broke above $3.24, it was buy, buy, buy. Bit of a pullback which was unfortunate but we held on and kept adding on to the position and it just started breaking out so closed out unfortunately um at the highs of thursday here and uh you know 398 unfortunate uh because it does keep rallying and today was a little bit messy intraday so considering a re-entry of maybe let's say a quarter of the size uh, if it dips back down into four dollars and saving the other three quarters if you know this pulls back and sort of comes back down to this pivot area and we can have a really good risk to reward here keeping it very tight around 353 three, 352 three, perhaps for the stop loss maybe even a little bit lower um don't want to be too tight because you can see there's there's uh, you know the pivot is a bit of a a range that's probably not as significant as this green pivot here but still it's worth considering and maybe a little bit of a wider stop for this one and uh going in with the other three quarters here so about a quarter if it dips back down today the other three quarters at this level here tight stop looking for very good risk to reward maybe take a little bit off at 420 here and then start targeting this five dollar level it almost seems inevitable 
Um, but I don't want to say, you know, it's definitely going there or anything like that, because obviously nothing is definite, nothing is certain. It is all just risk management. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I need to put this in here. This is not a recommendation to buy, sell, or do anything. It's just education and entertainment purposes only. So we're going to take a look at LTR. LTR is kind of like Vulcan, chart-wise. It's a much larger cap stock, so it's, it's a lot slower to move. Same idea, same idea, targeting 1555 and 168. And uh, of course, you know, taking some off as it rallies and breaks out. We bought today on match, uh, very straightforward, you know, broke out yesterday. It's unfortunate we missed it yesterday, but that's fine. Buying it today, catching a swing. If it pulls back, we got $1.36.5 and uh, keeping it tight, maybe $1.32. So risk to reward is there and it is clean. Next, we're going to take a look at NXL. This one popped up. I think it's 700 mil market cap or just under. And yeah, I, I don't really respect trend lines that much. You know, this red trend line here, I don't, I don't really rate it. I'm more of a pivots kind of guy. So the yellow is the pivot. And it's just a really, 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 really beaten down stock. Uh, you can see it's, I've got some garbage, garbage charts from a few years back. But you can see a heavily, heavily oversold stock and starting to reverse. And, um, yeah, this is a key, looks like a pretty key pivot here at 226, clearly broke through today. So we bought this one today and keeping the stop below today's candle. So the stop will be below today's candle uh, by a couple of ticks, just in case, you know, it pulls back. Whether it pulls back to 223, which is fine, you know, I don't think this pivot must absolutely hold. But it's more of a zone down to this pivot point here at 223 from this, uh, this candle here and just keeping it tight. And I think it's... It, in terms of success rate um, for a stop loss, it, typically it's below the initial breakout candle is best rather than just the pivot point because the pivot obviously will be inside this candle, which is not ideal for me. Uh, I'd be looking at below this, below this candle as the stop loss. Um, as for targets, I mean, sky's the limit for this one. Perhaps the initial target would be all the way towards this $3 level. But I expect this to take many, many months. This is not something that'll, you know, get there in a couple of days or weeks. You can you can see just how much it's consolidating and um, deciding where it wants to be. And the breakout is the way to go because uh, I, I can't remember what NXL is or does. And I don't particularly care because it's not a fundamental session. It's just purely technicals. APA, spotted this one, bought it today again on a breakout, continuation of a breakout. This is a utility stock. So APA Group is in utilities. I don't know exactly to what extent they are, like what their product is, what they sell, what they do. Um, but in terms of utility, we've got ORG. You can see um, utilities are on a absolute tear. So we've got AGL as well. So a few peers. And we're gonna, we, again, we've got a breakout here at $9.50, just a, a gap and rally. So utilities are strong. APA falls under utilities. I just don't know what they do. And I don't really care. Again, technicals, not super interested in fundamentals beyond the fact that it falls under utilities. So really nice uh, breakout. The only real TA level that I can spot is around $9.22. So a bit of a move to the upside there. Uh, comfortable putting size on because this is like a $10 billion company. Putting on size on this is fairly comfortable. Plenty of liquidity on the book as well. And that'll be a nice swing trade for the next maybe couple of months all the way through to maybe start of July. Hopefully, we'll see how it trends. But this is uh, very good in terms of risk to reward as well. And last but not least, uh, probably is least because this is the only stock that's not trending upwards. We've got a sideways ranging stock. And this kind of reminds me a bit of Vulcan. How it's just ranging on the bottom. You know, back here, you never know if this stock just breaks down and continues tr uh, selling to the downside. So the same sort of situation with SVR. It's just a risk to reward play where we've got an idea here of a stop loss of 91.5 and 91 and catching it here at let's say 93.5 and 93, maybe even 92.5 and keeping a, a super tight stop. So somewhere around 91, 91.5, maybe spreading the stops out across three stops and then just targeting, uh, let's say from 93 to about not even 112, maybe somewhere just under maybe 110. So we've got what, 
10 we got 16 let's let's call it 16 ticks of reward here initially so as it swings up approximately 16 ticks of reward and then from there an extra uh an extra 15 ticks again it's not going to just go straight up it's it's probably going to mess around retest and just yeah, it's, it's going to take its time it's not going to be just a straight up move obviously but the risk to reward here is phenomenal even if the win loss likelihood i you know i'd estimate somewhere along the lines of maybe 60 percent of the time you know, two-thirds of the time this likely fails so if you're looking at a 33 percent win rate and this is just all talking out of my ass by the way this is just a pure guess of the win loss ratio just based on how it's consolidating and setting up and uh the highs are just getting stomped every time so it's, it looks very difficult to recover but you know for let's let's assume um 33 percent win loss right 33 percent win rate but your risk to reward is you're risking or rather i'm risking uh two cents to make 25 it it line it, it adds up i think it's worth the risk i think it's worth the reward as well so that's pretty much it for today and uh drinks night is tonight which is uh friday the 10th of may at 5 30 p.m at the clock in sydney and uh, for any of you in Melbourne, the drinks night is tomorrow night. And on Friday, the 17th of May next week is Brisbane's drink night out. If you want more details, just head over to, head over to Discord and it's in the uh, video comment description below. Have a good one, guys.